Good afternoon. This week's rains are taking their toll on New Mexico. Widespread road closures, rock and mudslides, and evacuations are happening right now. Parts of Las Vegas, New Mexico are being evacuated as we speak because of rising waters. This video from our viewer Stephen shows just how serious the situation is. This is a look from Bridge Street, which runs over the Gallinas River. You can see the river is very close to rising over that bridge. Right now, everyone who lives along Gallina Creek is being evacuated. Also, schools in West Las Vegas let kids out today at noon because of flooding in town. This is a picture sent from the campus of West Las Vegas High School, where the creek has overflowed its banks on the school's eastern edge. East Las Vegas schools will stay in class with the exception of Memorial Middle School, which is very close to the river, and bus drivers are being sent home early because of concerns of flooded roads throughout town. There are also evacuations underway in Tier C. Officials tell us a couple hundred people from a trailer park are having to be pulled out right now. So is everyone who lives in Las Palomas Canyon, south of Truth of Consequences. And it is the same for people in the Animas Creek near the community of Caballo. Water is rising and flowing fast through those areas right now. The Los Alamos area is seeing problems too. Portions of State Highway 501, Highway 502, and Highway 4 were all closed because of rock slides, mud slides, and flooding this morning. Now, all of the roads are back open, but travel is still being discouraged. Emergency officials are reporting six inches of rain so far from this storm system. Two more inches were expected by noon today. And the weather situation and effects are changing by the minute. Here's meteorologist John Smith with the latest. And we're starting to see that threat start to shift over into the western central and into the northeastern parts of the state. That's shown very well by our flash flood watches, where are up in effect for a good portion of the state. We also have those flood warnings for portions of the north where we are seeing all those flooding concerns, also for Sierra County. And even though things are clearing out across Chavez and Eddy County, they still see flood warnings because of the Pecos River still being a concern in those locations. Now, taking a look at the radar, we are seeing quite a bit of rainfall as you move down into the south central portions of the state. From Diana County into Otero County as well. The Sacramento Mountains getting quite a bit of shower activity as you move up to the north. You can see some of that shower activity continuing just east of I-25, extending into areas like Corona and starting to move their way into areas like Vaughn. We are getting some showers in the Albuquerque metro area, but as you move into the northern portion of the state, we're running into an issue here. The Albuquerque radar is actually down right now, so all these areas that you see across the northern portion of the state are actually seeing rainfall at this hour. So we'll take a wide look one more time. You can see where all that cloud cover is. We are actually seeing rainfall and that does include areas in this red circle. We'll take another look at what you can expect throughout the rest of the day and over the weekend coming up. Thanks, John. Reports of rock slides and mudslides in the Espanola and Taos area as well. A nine mile stretch of Highway 68 between the two towns is shut down at Pilad. That's because of mud debris and rocks on the road. The State Department of Transportation says its crews are working to get that cleared up quickly. All this rain has also brought flooding to State Road 313 between Albuquerque and Bernalillo. Sandoval County officials have blocked off part of the road because of mud and water on the roadway. It's unclear at this point how long that will stay closed, but it's likely to be a while because there's still no end in sight for all this rain. And the storm has brought power outages. PNM has been busy today fixing lines across the Albuquerque area. At one point, about 4,000 customers were in the dark. PNM says the cause was water getting into equipment. PNM says power has now been restored to everyone affected, but they are bracing for the possibility of more outages throughout the day and night. And the situation is also serious down south near Carlsbad and Roswell. Yesterday, dozens of people had to be evacuated from the tiny community of Lakewood because of rising flood waters washing out Highway 137. Right now, that road remains impassable. Emergency crews say they will try to inspect the Lakewood area today to determine when it can be reopened. But at this point, there are no guarantees. Most of the people who were evacuated are staying at a Red Cross shelter in Carlsbad. And the American Red Cross has also set up shelters in other areas. There's one in Doña Ana County because of severe flooding in Vado. And there's also one in Chavez County because of flooding in Roswell. The Red Cross says they will keep those shelters open as long as there is a need. And many of the problems in Eddie and Chavez County are being caused by the swelling of the Pecos River, which continues to rise. Yesterday, it reached flood stage of 13 feet. The overflow has prompted a voluntary evacuation of James Street. 
Evacuees can go to the old gym on West Church Street. A full list of what you should take with you is on that city's website. And all the rain has caused a lot of leaks.